we're making up some mini plus this afternoon. What we're doing is we're breaking down these colonies I showed you uh, recently and we're making up small colonies that will have a virgin queen put in uh, tomorrow morning. So what we're doing is I'm looking for a frame of honey, a partial frame of honey in brood, a full frame of brood and maybe some more brood. And you can see a lot of these are nurse bees because they're not budging anywhere. And obviously I don't mind the forager bees flying because they generally fly back to the hive I've just taken them from. And what we do is as I break these down, they basically um, go into a nuke underneath. Um, if there's not enough, I take all the bees from me. If there is not, I then add them to the one next door. So I'm now looking for a frame of honey to go in the top here. So we'll take one of these out. The bees are being nice today. So I've got more brood here than I need, but it's brilliant. I've got to be careful. I've got a queen from the other side. She's in the cage. I'll release her after. But that's what we're looking for. That's one of our broods. Nice frame of brood there. So that goes here. There's the second one. And we have these little spacers on these hives, one side to make sure they, they're spaced. Little shoulders. It's funny, some hives you find have got more honey, some hives have got more brood. This one's got more brood than I need, but it's great. I mean, I never turned down brood. So let's put another one now. I need a honey in this one after. But that's really, there's enough bees on that now. So all I'm gonna do is find a honey if I can, and that one will be done. This one's got more honey in it's the outside frame. Lovely, there's more honey in that than the, on the other. It's absolutely packed full of honey on the edges. A bit, a bit too much brood, but they'll be fine. I can feed them if I need to. Pop that one in, move those back. So they'll stay overnight in the cool. Tomorrow morning we'll put them out where, when they're in a place they're gonna go. We're actually gonna move these to a mating station where they'll, they'll mate and we've got queen cells going in tomorrow morning. So they should accept that quite well. Obviously, I'm not going to go into the debate on whether you should put a virgin queen in or a, a queen cell, but we'll put in protected cells because this is the first few we're doing this year. I we actually, um, these aren't my queen cells. These are, um, these are queen cells that has come from a breeder that, that, that had some spare and they phoned us up and said, do you want to load me? He said, yeah, why not? Let's start early because we're late anyway. So we're going to have a bit of a kickstart to our cell production by having a load of cells from a breeder that, that we exactly the same as we'd raised but we're just, we're just a couple of weeks earlier so we're going to get a few done so the front of these these are the mini plus system so they take seven frames the front of these are just blocked off with a bit of foam you just use this to block it off and see these are the frames we have they're um, wooden frames you can buy them you, you can actually buy the equivalent in plastic and they do clip together and they're two frames that make a super frame that goes into a daddle a dad on super. So what you, you can get them built on another colony and break them in half and put them in here. But we use these because we find that uh, this system works well and we can make more frames if we want to. It's just what we've evolved to do. So let's make another one up. Got a little bit of smoke on because I just want to get these bees off the top so I can actually just pick the frames up. I don't want to put too much smoke. Find a place to put the smoker. Here we go. I can pick up this frame now and. These are a lot of brood here. I mean, this, this, this queen was really, that's just such a lovely frame to pick up. Look at that, it's just full of bees. I've got the queen for this one anyway, so I know she's not on this frame. So easy to do. And they just stay where you put them. So I've got to be a bit careful here because I haven't got enough, I don't think I've got enough bees in that nuke to make up that nuke underneath, but it was there just to give the bees space if they, as and when they needed it. So. See, the bees are really kind. We're not having to wear gloves. And uh, it's all pretty good. So I think I'm gonna, well, that's a frame of honey. I'm gonna take that one as well. And I'm gonna shake these bees off and put a bit back in there because I need that nuke. So there's our frame of honey. There's plenty of bees on there and brood. And what I might do is I might actually change that nuke for a min another mini mating box and just Put the queen in it to lay and get strong again so i can use her again so i'm going to find one more frame here so another partial brood that makes up that colony I'll just check there's no queen on this one because this one haven't found the queen on that side so i don't want to i want to use her so there's another one made up plenty of bees in there almost a bit too strong but i'd rather be a bit too strong this time of year so on goes on the plastic 
Then we have an aluminium foil, which it basically keeps a bit of insulation. And if we want to feed, we just fold that back. And on top of that, we put a piece of wood. Now the wood's quite important because the wood compresses all the edges. So if you, if you didn't have the wood, if you had a look at these, the top wouldn't stick back down again. So if you put a bit of wood on, it keeps it flat and keeps the pressure on evenly. And then when you want to feed, we have feeders that we use. We use these wooden feed, these round feeders. And if you mark before you start with a circle, when you will put your feeder on in a hurry, if it's in the line, you know that it's over the hole. If you don't do that, you could put feeders on and you, they never get the feed and they could die. It's a really tiny little thing, but it makes a massive difference. So that one is ready. So that's basically what we do. And I'll show you after us putting queen cells in the hives that we did this morning on some other ones. Uh, then you can really have an idea of, of how easy it is to make up mini nucleus colonies. Every beekeeper around the world does the same kind of thing, whether it's big or small or with, with different types of mating nukes. It's, it's a way of using your resources wisely in the spring because you make up small colonies that will take a virgin queen and then they can grow away, but you're not using too much resources because nobody's got a lot of resources in the spring. It, it, it means you're, you're not wasting it, all the stuff you've, you've you harboured over the winter and you get the maximum amount of queens mated with the minimum amount of bees. So that's kind of what we do and why we do it. So we've got all the rest of these to finish off now and these will go out tomorrow morning and we'll put some queen cells in tomorrow. But you usually leave them overnight for a period of queenlessness and it does help the acceptance. And then we put a cell in tomorrow that's just about to hatch or you can run a live virgin in. So there you go. I hope that um, answers a few of your questions and it's all a bit of fun to do. The bees are nice and the weather's nice, so what's not to like? Nice cells. Hey, wait. Look, look at the size of those cells. Take one out again, show me. That's what you want, they're nice cells like that. Good. Perfect.